Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the low THC subcommittee of the Regulated Industries Committee. We do have one bill today, House Bill 117, by Representative Walensky. Uh, Representative, are you ready to present to us? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chair. Um, we're reading off of LC338472. And uh, this is a simple bill for a simple representative. All it does is um, last year we were passed uh, a bill, the low THC oil patent registry whole code section where we had, I think, 14 uh, diseases that were allowed to be used with uh, THC cannabis oil. And one of them listed is Crohn's disease. And the foundation that oversees Crohn's disease is literally called the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. And that's due to the similarities between the two diseases. Um, Crohn's disease is a disease that affects the whole digestive tracts with inflammation where actually ulcerative colitis just affects the large intestine. And where Crohn's disease has healthy areas in between the inflammation, cr ulcerative colitis has no healthy areas. It's just an inflamed area. It's very painful. And just as all the testimony how um, low THC oil would help with Crohn's disease, it would also help in the same way with ulcerative colitis. Um, so thanks for staying here today, and I would love y'all's uh, favorable vote, If there, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Members of the committee, are there any questions for Representative Walensky about this bill? And we do have uh, Chairman Jaspers. Yes, sir. Thank you, Representative. Just real quickly on for mine. So you're saying that the Colitis Foundation, is that what you said, or Crohn's Foundation is asking for this change? Yeah, well, they're in support of it, but I was saying the we have Crohn's as listed on line 16. It is the fourth disease listed as one of the ones allowed to use low TUC oil. And what I was saying is the foundation that oversees the Crohn's disease is called the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation because of how similar those two diseases is. So I was implying that since we have Crohn's in this bill, we should most definitely have colitis. And I made it even more specific ulcerative colitis. So, but have you asked the uh Crohn's folks what their position is on it? Yes, I reached out to several friends who are highly involved and have that, and they said that 100% this is something that is needed. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, any other questions from any other committee members? Is anyone here to uh, speak in opposition to the bill? Okay, uh, the chair will entertain a motion uh, from the committee. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion and a second to pass this out with a due pass recommendation. And all in favor say aye. Aye. If you're opposed, say no. And the bill passes out of the committee, Representative. Thank you. Thank you, you for, so much, Chairman. Thanks thank for your time. Thank you so much for your presentation. That is all we have today, so uh, we, without objection, we will stand adjourned.